So the craze was for millions of Americans who wanted to get out of their eyeglasses and their contact lenses to go ahead and get LASIK. And now a lot of those people who had LASIK surgery are coming back because they're not happy with the results or perhaps there have been some complications because things went wrong. Dr. Arun Gulani is here from the Gulani Vision Institute with some information for your protection. Welcome back to the morning show. Good to have you here. Pleasure all this. Folks. You are seeing people come into your office in droves and they're saying, you know what, I had LASIK years ago and I can't see well, I've got complications. This is not an anomaly, it's something that's becoming very prevalent. Yes, it is because there are three categories of these kind of patients. One are those who had LASIK surgery with old technology many years ago. Then the second category is of patients who had surgeries other than LASIK who need correction with modern technology, with modern techniques. And the third category of patients are those who had surgery and related uh, complication based on surgeon and experience. Let me talk with that one first because it had become a cookie cutter industry for a while out there and you had people who weren't really trained in specific procedures who were going ahead and doing the LASIK and these patients weren't treated to the type of procedures that they should have been and that led to complications. All right, that said, we need to know how to go ahead and fix it. And I was in your office not that long ago and you said, Bruce, it's very easy for us now to just gaze into your eyes and literally turn back the clock and you can find out what procedure was done, what went wrong, and you can go ahead and put in a fix. Yes, uh, to an extent, because what has happened, unfortunately, is LASIK has become a cookie cutter surgery. It's actually an art, an art that's been perfected over years, and there are so many techniques, even off LASIK, that a surgeon must be aware of, because only then can you give the real tailored surgery to your patients, as opposed to doing one surgery for everybody. And that, I believe, will be uh, a paradigm shift in, as far as LASIK is concerned, because each patient then gets a tailored technique. Number two, with technologies that I've uh, brought into Jacksonville, like the Penicam system, you can look into the patient's eyes like a camera and fix the eye depending on where the camera is affected to create the right optics. You can even again. tell what procedure had been done in the past. Yes. Let's go ahead and show some of these pictures here. You, these are some of the people who've come to you for this corrective LASIK surgery and there was one story in particular that struck me. You had a man who was a sniper for the SWAT team who was in the office not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And here is a man who requires on having, is required to have perfect vision to do his job. What was his issue and how did you fix it? He basically had LASIK when he should not have had that surgery. And so I have now, I was faced with a situation where, once again, like I say, this art of laser vision surgery. So I had to go through the different techniques of LASIK that I do, literally reverse his previous surgery and shape his cornea back again to excellent vision. Now, there are some people who are not good candidates for LASIK, and they'll shop around for somebody who will do the surgery. I need to be an educated consumer. What questions do I need to ask? The most important thing any, any patient can do uh, who's looking for LASIK is to research your surgeon. Uh, technology, financing deals, all these things are secondary because the most important person here is your surgeon who's going to select the best technique. Make sure you research your surgeon. Go on the internet nowadays, so easy. Google your surgeon's name, disregard the advertising. Look at the real meat of the stuff that's on the internet. See if these doctors really know what they're doing. They're really respected, they teach, and they can do the entire spectrum of laser vision surgery. That's very important. From cookie cutter to an art, that's when most of these patients will do very well. Maybe talk to your friends too. Somebody's had a successful procedure or a bad experience. If they've had a good procedure, then you can go ahead with your own uh, surgery. If they've had a bad experience, maybe you want to stay away. I'll tell you what, if you need more information, you can contact uh, Dr. Galani at the Galani Vision Center. It's just over there off of uh, uh, JTB in back of uh, St. Luke's Hospital. Phone number to call is 296-7393, or you can log on to his website at galanivision.com. Always a pleasure. Good to have you. Thank you, Bruce. Well, he's